welcome to Badung. It is nighttime and the place for street food at night here is the Sudaman Street. Street food. Yeah. Yeah, this place is on Google Map, advertised as like the day night street food market. So we are here and it looks quite epic. It's a Thursday night, mind you. So I imagine if it's this busy on a Thursday, that the weekends are probably slammed. So it is a ton of delicious looking street food. Lots of stalls, lots of people. And seeing what I'm seeing, I think our plan is to attempt to find a table first. So guys, if you see an open table like this one right here, uh, can we see, is this table open? Yeah, done, check. All right, granite, cedar. Yes, we're gonna grab the table and then we will venture out two at a time, three at a time to try to find delicious street food. Sound good? Sounds good. Now, why don't you guys wait here? I'll see if there's a table further in um, and then decide if we want this one or that one because I might see a couple there, but I don't want to give this one to go look to see if they are open. Okay, go check it out. All right, it I'll give you away. Keep an eye out for me. I'm only going right over here. But this place, um, wow, it looks great. Looks like we are not going to have a lack of food options this evening. Oh, there's actually plenty of tables. So this is easy. No problem. Now, I wonder if any of these tables are actually tied to certain restaurants. It doesn't seem to be. Uh, boy, one of these round tables actually might be fun. So there's actually quite, quite a lot of seating um, for us this evening. So that's good. Definitely seeing some delicious food. Okay, well, I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll get them, pull them back in. We'll go, uh, we'll come a little further in, but th there's like, you know, tons of options, tons of options on a Thursday night. Okay, cool. Well, we get the family, we'll find a table. Well, I, I don't know if the table side of the restaurant, see how it's got the menu on it? Oh, maybe. Well, let's go down a little bit more to these rectangle tables. Well, Forrest, chicken. did you see chicken? Yeah. Where, chicken. where did you see chicken? Over there. Okay. Oh, okay. Here's some saute granite. Saute might be good. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Uh, kids, let's go over here. How about this one? Perfect location. Okay. So we did verify with the vendors that these tables, these red tables are open. So it's not like one table is tied to one restaurant. It's a, it's a little unsure because they, they, they kind of start handing like you it. menus, but it is open. So yeah. we might, this is in front of this guy's place, grab something from him at some point. But okay, Granite, do you want to come with me first? Or Cedar, do you want to come with me first? Come first? Okay, me and Grant will go. You're gonna come. Okay, ladies, can you hold down the fort? Yep. Cool. All right. Come here, Forrest. Have fun. Thank you. Okay, so Granite. Yep. Where are you, bud? There you are. Let's swing back to that, whatever that, I think pork on the menu one. The pork hanging on the hook. Yep. There's all types of stuff. Now, I'm, I'm no doubt that we're gonna be able to find some veg for mom, do you think? Yeah. Forrest, are you touching Granite's head? Uh, we'll have water. We will have water. So, granite. Let's figure this out. Yeah, I wonder if that's Bobby. I don't know. I don't see. That looks good. Whatever that is. But I, I don't see Bobby. Like specifically, Bobby. No, I don't see. Um. Bobby's dead. That's pork. You think? We have to ask. Uh, for me see? Yeah. Is that Bobby? Yeah. Bobby? Bobby oh, Panda. yeah, Bobby. Yeah. Okay, what is it, Bobby? Yeah. Which which one is, is that? The, the pork? Yeah, pork. Is that... How do I order? Uh... This here. This it's one? Uh, Donging Camp Four? Oh, see, yeah, this here. Oh. Samchan. Okay, yeah. Sa Samchan. Uh, yeah. Okay, so, uh, Saya, Saya Mao. Uh, well, Saya Mao, uh, Satu Porsi. What about see? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, the, the, uh, Saya Khan. Samchan, one Porsi. One Porsi. Okay. And, what is this? 
This is Lam Chong. Lam Chong. Oh yeah, uh, one porcy. One porcy. Yeah. This, this. The lamb chop and yeah, uh, lamb chong. One yeah. porcy. Uh, 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 satu, satu. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, one porcy lamb chong, one porcy sam chan. Yes. Okay. Terima kasih. Uh, take away and and dine. And uh, well, I dine at my tables over here. Okay. I dine in. Yeah. Table. Which number is that? You dine sana di kanan sana. Oh, okay. I take yeah. this. You bring to table. Okay. Okay. All right. Got it. Did I do that right? I ordered correct. Right. Do I uh, do I pay after I eat or do I pay now? Uh, pay now. Pay now. Okay. Okay. Jadi berapa coba? Berapa? Ah, yeah. She has me pay now. Okay. Ordered up, paid up. That was ninety rupiah for the two single portion dishes. Plus we got water. So these were five thousand each. So another twenty thousand per water. No, we did not get satay, but that can no. be next. Yeah. Could we? A hundred percent. Absolutely. There's endless adventure on the menu. Okay, guys. So basically, I've discovered that you order, you pay, and then you put the cone out. You put your cone on the table. What'd you guys order? Okay, we ordered two things, Cedar. Uh, one is a portion of the pork, Bobby. But it's not called Bobby. It was called oh. something different. Okay. And like a little sausage. Yeah. So from the hanging one. With the from the hanging one with the hook. Okay. No veg no, there. Like, no. Do you want to take off and grab some veg? Yes. I have okay. To cool. I what do you want to eat? Saute. She was thinking saute. Yeah, saute Bobby. We'll get that. We'll get that. Let's do the one dish and we'll get some saute Bobby. Oh, saute. There are two saute restaurants right next to each other. Which one would you go to? Uh, that one. Okay, and why would you go to that one over the other one? Because it has more people. Yeah. That's good advice all around. If you're ever at a street food place and there's a stall that is totally slammed and one that's totally empty, which one do you go to? Slammed. Slammed. Yeah? Just because. I think locals know, know better. So we'll uh, after we get our first round, we'll go to the saute place. And here's, I've only seen two saute places, but we'll go to the one that's much more busy than the other. So while we're waiting for the first dish, this is sort of what goes on at the table. Cedar and Forrest typically play cars. Granite typically plays with, reads his book. Uh, I forgot my book at home. Oh no. Forgot the book, eh? Two, poor guy. Well, you got some stuff. Little, little toys like this go a long way usually it's like really good times and then at some point it turns into a big huge fight and then i yell at them to put the toys away and sit quietly but right now we're in the fun part so we'll, t we'll take it as long as we can we have our portions yes okay uh tamakasi thank you so much okay guys no no this is both pork dishes oh candy probably sweet yeah these are going to be quite yummy did they call it Samsung? Yes. Okay. What is Samsung? I don't Pork. know. Probably. But that's what they use. They're not using the word Bobby. It no. is at this place. It, yeah, I saw it. I saw that word somewhere else and wondered what it was. I want to eat some pork. Okay, Forrest, this is both of these are pork. You want me open that? Yeah. Okay. okay, and you can use your fingers if you want. Granite Cedar, dig right in. Oh. I'm going to go for this one first. Yummy! <laughs> I can't read that face sometimes. <laughs> thumbs up, thumbs down. Yes. All right, we got a winner. Just a big bite. Okay. Let's see. Oh, man. The visitor. It's outstanding. Which one did you try? This one. This one, savory. The crispy pork skin. See to grab it. Eat. Yeah, that skin's. That crunch is what you're after. Mm. Good, eh? Yeah. Yum. Daddy. Yes. And fun on the kitty cat. Oh my goodness. Yeah. A kuching? Kuching. All right. A love, lovely little kuching. Okay, guys. Well, there's more. I'm going for this. This one. 
This one's more fermented, like what we got in Singapore. Yeah, it's good. Crispy, oh, four's still the best piece, man. You got the end cap. Lucky kid. Yeah, this will, uh, this will do. Now, the question is, this little chili marmalade. That looks good. I'm so going for that. I'm going to try it with a cucumber. Okay. Put some of that right on this little pork piece. I'm going to make a little sandwich. A little pork bite sandwich. Oh, man. Super spicy? Not, I mean, <laughs> a little bit. A little spicy, but very good. Okay. I don't know if I'm brave enough. You I'm going to try it. Since this is a fully on pork dish, I'm going to do the ch chilies with the cucumber. Mm. Oh man, the flavor is good, but it has a bite. I'm probably not going to be able to talk in just a minute. <laughs> with a lot of chilies. It. It's so good, but so spicy. The flavor is perfect. Well, granted, oh. what, what do you think of this uh, fermented one? I think I like it a little bit better than that one. Really? Excellent. So you're more in this camp. Now this sauce, it's dark red, so it could be hot or it could be sweet. You should try some of that. Cedar, have you tried any of this uh, like kind of hot dog looking bit? Mid bite there. Um, I haven't tried it yet. It's pretty good. So when you're ready. Forrest, is the kitty cat still down there? Uh, took off. Ah, uh, okay. Well, you should try one of these. It's like a hot dog. Quite delicious. Cucumbers. Yeah, cucumbers. Oh man. Uh, how was that one? Did you try this? That one? Some, some. Granny going for the sauce. Some, yeah. some. It, I bet it's sweet and not spicy. Oh lord. Yeah. Oh, you did not like that yeah. one. Okay, Forrest, just spit that out. Please be sweet and not sweet. Big. Oh, thank the Lord, because you got a big glob on there. Yeah, it. I put too much. Can you hook me up with a little bit? So it's fermented, not this, candy. This, no, this pork. Yeah. I, I, I think it's fermented. And more like a pickle flavor. Pickle. Mm. <laughs> Yummy. This is almost like a sweet barbecue. Not really barbecue, but a sweet sauce anyway. Yeah, quite delicious. Ah, uh, these. This is a, a great way to start the night. I'm loving this. The crispy skin, awesome. That chili is fantastic. My mouth is still stinging, but I ate most of the cucumbers. All right, it's my turn. Um, as I'm walking through here, I see so many different dishes, but they're all like pork, chicken, and seafood. So everywhere, it's even like the saute. The saute over here is all meat, which is great for my family. But um, I found this place over here. This is called, I don't know what it's called. What is the name? Oh, El Paso. And they have a cheese sandwich, a cheese with sandwich. And I just met this guy and he said that he can make it without the bobby. So I'm gonna try the cheese sandwich with all the vegetables and toppings. Vegetable. All vegetable? Yes. Good? Yeah. And no body? No, it's perfect. <laughs> so we're gonna go for this one. And um, they come in two sizes, right? Large. He was showing me there's a large and there's a small. And I plan to try and eat, I found some tofu as well over there. So I might try and uh, do a small sandwich and, uh, and then come back. All right, let me pay and how much? <laughs> Big 55. 55 for the big one and 40 for the single. Okay, let me order up and I will show you what that looks like. All right, I'm right down here. Okay, awesome. Yeah, that's great. So usually, um, if they can accommodate, they will. And I haven't had any many problems traveling and finding either noodles or rice or potatoes sometimes i just have to eat french fries but uh not tonight tonight you guys i found 
this the ultimate cheese sandwich Ooh. like the ultimate grilled cheese okay. and it has like 10 things on it all types of grilled onion caramelized onions and grilled vegetables and cheese and mayo and he's asked if i like salads so we'll see what comes with that sounds great like the sounds awesome vegetarian thing ever yes. vegetarian cheese sandwich yes the restaurant's called El Paso. Hi. So it might be a big old Tex Mex thing. That'd be Who knows? Great. Maybe that's some like Texas ribs. <laughs> that would be cool. Cool. Well, so you got your card? Yep, I got my card. It's number six. Okay. And he said he'd come he said he'd come find me. There's a big sandwich and a small portion. I got the small one. Good call. Good call. Just because I plan to eat more. Lots of eating tonight. <laughs> okay, well we might bump over while we're waiting on your sandwich to get some Bobby saute. Yeah, do that. Do that. You ready for some saute? Yeah. Okay, Cedar, Cedar, Cedar has requested. Why don't you come with me this time? Okay, let's go. Okay. So I'm thinking if, what I'm thinking this this dinner is some saute. Whoa, it looks really good. Yeah. Hello. Okay. What's that? All right, Cedar, what do you think you're gonna go for? Maybe. Saute, Bobby. Yeah. To share. To maybe. share. Yes. Ten piece. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Saute, Bobby. Uh, ten piece. Wait, I should say uh, I'll order in Bahasa. Saya Mao ten or si, Bobby. Saute, Bobby. Yes. Ten piece. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, cashier, cashier, cashier. Got it. We're gonna order ten pieces. Yeah. Two, four, six, three, six, nine. He has one. That should be good. We can always come back and get more. Yeah. My sandwich just showed up. Cedar, you want to film? Yes. I love camera? filming. Woohoo! I got. All right. So we got some ketchup, tomato ketchup, and some chili. Oh, the sandwich is hot. So I might not be able to eat it right away, but um, I'm gonna definitely we're gonna check it out. Ooh. I ordered that. Oh, okay, it's super hot and melty, and it looks like it has pickles, tomatoes, onions, a cheese for sure, and yeah, just uh, maybe even green peppers on it. And then I can put this. Right. I can put the spicy chili on it in just a little bit, but it is hot. I'm gonna try a little bit without the salsa, and then I'm gonna try it with. Um, oh, you're extra hot. Extra hot chili. This is Del Monte. It's a different brand um, than we've tried earlier on the train. So here we go. Oh, yeah. I'm tasting like the pickles and the cheese are pretty sweet, but the outside of the bun is kind of buttery and salty. And, um, and a mustard. I think there might be a mustard on it. I bet. Some kind of flavored mayo. Okay, nice. On it. Pretty good. You got a big glob of cheese hanging out of the bottom. It looks extra cheesy. Wow. That looks so good. Yeah, doesn't it, Cedar? What? It's doesn't going. it look good? It's like the ultimate the cheese grilled off? cheese. You want to dry it? Are there jalapenos? Whoa. No, pickles. Oh, I want some pickle and cheese. You want oh, cheese? you want a little cheese for us? Try this one. Would jalapenos go good with that? Do you guys all want to bite of this? Yes. Okay. You're probably going to have to do two handers because it's pretty, pretty full. If it's too hot, you can put it on the market. Too hot? Pickles. Pickles, cheese, and I think... Mm. You like it? Yeah. Granny, I'm going to pass the whole thing to you. Well, that, that is really good. It's a two-hander. It's really delicious. It's the, not spicy The at ultimate all. grilled cheese? It's yes. called the Cheese Whiz. Ah, the Cheese Whiz. I like the it. The Cheese Whiz. Yes. Forrest going for some bun? Yeah, I'm wondering. <laughs> That's so good. Mm -hmm. I would, it's ooey gooey like a sandwich. Awesome. Uh, maybe I'll have a bite. Why not? I would take that. It's like a sandwich. Yeah. Okay, Cal, I'm gonna give it a go. Okay, go for it. Jalapenos would go good with that. Oh yeah. Yeah, jalapenos. Pickled jalapenos would be amazing with it. I'm mm. gonna try the hot sauce with it and see. No one's gonna have any reference point to what I'm about to say, but 
I grew up eating a dish called cheese things, which has a very similar flavor. My parents used to make it when I was like granite and cedar's age. Yeah, that's amazing. Here, let's give this to Forrest. See if he'll go for it? Uh, he might. Forrest, you want that? He wanted bread and cheese. Yeah, grilled cheese. Not spicy. Hey. This is spicy, dude. Go for it. It's yummy. Well, anyway, delicious. Yes. Okay, thank you. Here comes pork saute. So I noticed that the chili looks a little different. So this is from the pork saute place we just that just arrived. This was from the uh, Bobby restaurant. So each place has their own little unique spin on it. Granted, we got some pork saute. You can see the char on that. It's looking pretty good. I'll go without the dip first. Woo! Oh. That is hot dog. Excellent, yeah. That's really good. It has a, um, like a crispy, fatty flavor, and you can really taste the char on that from the charcoal. I don't know how you dip it into the sauce. I guess you just sort of roll it in there as best you can. Get some of the essence of it. Uh -oh. mm. Mm. Or maybe you need a fork. It's really good. It has a peanut taste to it that's really sweet. Really good. One of the things I saw over here when I was just doing around while they were looking for Bobby Sate was some tahu. So I'm gonna try and get some tahu. This is what I saw when I was walking around. Tahu, Playtok, and Tahu Achi. And I don't know the difference, so I'm gonna check it out real fast on my phone. Let me check out what these two different types are and I'll come back and tell you. The word Tahu means to know. It's actually a verb, to know. So it, when I go to Google Translate, it just tells me it knows things. It's like, um, it didn't translate that word, but it's to know this word and then to know right now. So, ah, um, so I'm not really sure if it is vegetarian. And we're gonna get, I'm gonna get it anyways, but I found something for my family that uh, some viewers have told us that we have to try. Some of the subscribers out there, you guys gave us suggestions. I keep a whole list of them on a Google Doc. And um, anytime we revisit a country, I try to like brush up on what I'm supposed to try the next time. And this is what I found. Jenkel, and if I'm correct in it, it's the stinky bean. We've never had it, and so I have to get it, and our family has to try the stinky bean in Indonesia. So I got my number, and I've ordered, but uh, I'm very sad there's no Jenkel. Um, there's no Jenkel, but I did order the Playtuck and the Achi. Sayamal na mutton curry. This one? Na mutton curry. Uh, salt to pussy. Salt to? Go. Thank you. So we are going to try to get that right there. Now I'm going to curry and hopefully it's nice and spicy. Uh, Sayamel, uh, one pussy? Salt to pussy. Yeah, one, one pussy, 25. Dua Pulu. No, Dua Pulu Lima. Do a pulu lima. Yeah, buddy. I got that. I got that. Anything below 50, I can do. Come on, Kelsey. Yeah, do I, do I. Cool. So she's frying them up right here. Yeah. So you can see the pork balls right from the fry. This is the fish, uh, I believe, is what she's saying. This is the fish. Yeah. So we got fish and we'll have pork. Looks like we have pork. some kind of sauce. Yeah, I'm sure this, this looks like something sweet, maybe. Yeah. Theater, we brought back fried fish balls but fried. I thought Forrest might go for them. We also ordered Bobby balls. It was a little bit of a spontaneous decision. So, okay, let's give this a try here. A fish ball. Cedar, you got your little buddies going to bed? Yeah. Are you telling me suddenly that you're getting tired yeah. by building a bed? A little bit. A little? Okay, so here is a fish ball. <laughs> Thank you. The bobby. This is the fish ball. This is the pork ball. Wow, you ain't gonna do a taste off. Uh huh. The fish was extremely good. Mm. Fish one kind of 
tastes like um, skin in a way, and the sauce is pretty nice. And here's the pork. Pork. The pork one has a bacony flavor. Mm -hmm. Do you, can you tell the difference between the two? Yeah. I can. Like, and that one's definitely this one's definitely pork, and that one's definitely fish. Do you have a preference? Maybe the fish. Yeah, right on. Fair enough. Now, Forrest, did you like the econ? Hey, you broke your fork. Aw, oh, poor guy. Did you like this? Is it a knock? Oh, you're trying to cut it, I see. Okay, here comes more food. It looks like Kelly. It almost looks like tofu tempura. That's what that looks tofu like. Tofu delight. Wow. Yeah. Oh, sauces, too. Oh I bet God. that's going to be oh. quite outstanding. Tiramakasi. So That's we're gonna so call nice. this like the, the fried portion of the evening. So this one's cut really thin? Yeah, sure is. Almost like a tempeh. Yeah. Is it good? It is good. It's super crispy. What does it taste like? Like, does it taste like tempeh? Like, it just tastes like fried tempeh. You wanna try, th or fried tofu. I can't tell what that oh, ready. Yeah. I can't you tell what that ready. Right. What is that crunchy stuff on there? Do you know? Something delicious. Something good. Let's try it. This looks like chili seeds, and this one looks like not chili seeds. You want to try that and see if it's hot? I'll try this one. This one has lots of seeds in it. Might be three different levels. Okay. Definitely ketchup money. I'm getting a spray to that one. That one? Yeah, it looks like it looks like it looks like soy sauce. Mm -hmm. it's Spanish. But like it's a manis. When manis. you take a bite, it's like a like whole different level. Do you like wanna try spice. the thick one with me? Sure. Maybe hey. this one means thin. When I googled it, oh I explained on the camera earlier is that Chahu means to know. Oh. Oh boom baby. The next dish just showed up. It is the mutton. Whoa, what? Tamakasi. Wow. So this is a mutton naan on a granite request. Reliving the glory days from India. Ooh, it's hot, 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 hot. So hot. Wow, that's hot. Okay. Holy mackerel. Just when you thought you weren't hungry anymore. Yeah, we got a lot of eating to do. <laughs> So now we have the thicker one. This is the achi. So this is much thicker. Same kind of breading though. Is it the same as this one or is, it, or is there a difference? It's a different name, but it looks thicker. Hello. Hello. Oh, yes. This was right next to Rolf Thai. I'll be right back. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's awesome. So a popular dish, those ladies were just asking where Kelly got this. So good. So Granite, I'll send it out to you, bud. How is the mutton? It's pretty good. The dough is super like doughy and like soft. Okay. And warm. It looks and like Forrest is uh, interested in the uh the, yeah. In the naan. And the curry is like um curry and a little spicy, but really good. Are there chunks of mutton in there? Yes. Oh yeah, there are big chunks of mutton. Nice. Okay, that's gonna be quite delicious. Okay, so that was awesome, a popular dish. It must be popular, I didn't even know, so that's good. But, let's dig it. It's actually really hot, so I need to buy a little time anyways. I wonder if it's same, it's just cut differently. Oh. Oh. So hot. It's so hot, but I figured it out. The breading, this top bubbly stuff, is that gluten. Oh, okay, that's fascinating. That we had in uh, Jakarta, we had yes. the gluten ball. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, lock or something. Okay. It has like that gluten chewiness attached to it, and then there's just a chunk of tofu, and it comes Excellent. with the sauce, and that's great. So it's like a gelatinous, which I believe I'm not mistaken, that it's a gelatinous rice? I think it's rice, like, Flour or something, yeah, yeah gluten. cooked into a gluten ball. Combined with tofu deep fried. Nice, yeah. that sounds good. I kind of want to jump in there and try a piece of that mutton while it's still hot. Granite, did you get any of the meat? Yep. Oh, it is steaming hot. Nice. You can see just the steam coming off of that. 
so the mutton, very good. I would call that India seasoning light. You can taste the essence of India in the mutton. It's very good. But in terms of uh, what we had in India, this would be less seasoned, in my opinion. Yeah. Still good. Still really good. Probably yeah. delicious with the naan. Yeah. Uh, Berapa aganya? Oh, okay, okay. For satu? Satu okay, portion? Which color do you want, Cedar? Blue? Okay. Thank you. Terima kasih. Do you want a little cotton candy? I'm gonna break it. You're gonna break it into your mouth, Granite. Would you care for a little cotton candy? Yes. Always a big, always a kid at heart, right? Ooh. Cotton candy. The lady is really sweet. Mmm, delicious. Okay. Yeah, help him hold it. Steady. It's like normal cotton candy. Yeah. Delicious. Quite delicious and yummy. Yes. What it tastes like? It tastes like a blueberry wrapper. <laughs> Yeah. A blueberry one? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> uh, yep. Like a fluffy, sugary cloud? It's like original mm. cotton candy. Uh, Granite, stick out your tongue for a second. Okay, all right. Essence of blue. I have a hunch it's going to be pretty blue when uh, you're finished up. Oh, geez, Louise. Forest. Your tongue looks like a big blueberry. Yeah, yours too, Cedar. Blueberry mouth. Now, some of you uh, old school fans might know that Cedar has a cotton candy maker at the house for reading. So during these long vacations that we take these trips, we will reward the kids with by reading. So they read so many books or so many pages or so many minutes, and that translates to credits that they can then buy what they want. And Cedar saved her money basically all school year to buy a cotton candy machine. So she's been enjoying that. We are winding down our evening, but we always like to end on something sweet. Now you had your, your cotton candy, but there is one dessert that I would like to get. And it's here, right here. This, uh, uh, are you, uh, good, good. Uh, uh, Sayamau Satu, Porsi. Yeah, kuahnya gula merah. Yeah. Sugar soup. Yes. Yeah, okay. Does this have a uh, peanut? Peanuts? Yeah, yeah, yeah peanut good. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, that's what it is. Yeah. You're making. Yeah. So the sure. peanut? This is the peanut. And this yeah. is uh rice. The both, uh glutinous rice. Glutinous rice. Oh, okay. Right. So yeah. you make them fresh. Yeah. And then ginger. Yeah, the ginger. Th th this so this ginger. ginger. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. One uh one portion. One, yeah, one porsi. Okay. One porsi. Okay. Berapa agaknya? 20,000. 20,000. Yeah, do uh do do a pulu. Dua puluh. Dua puluh ribu. Yeah, twenty thousand. Bahasa Indonesia okay. bagus ya. My bah my bahasa sedikit. Oh, hebat, so, hebat, hebat. But I try. Yeah. This is the ginger. Uh, this is palm sugar. Oh, Bahasa this is the palm sugar. The, the ginger. Yeah, yeah. We serving separated. I see. Yeah, 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 I yeah, yeah, see. Yeah. I see. So that's the ginger. That's the palm sugar. Yeah. And this is where you boil. You boil the the balls. Okay. This yeah. is just water, or is this a simple like only, a only like a gula? No, no, no. Just a water. Just water. Yeah. Okay. This is lemongrass and ah. pandan. Coco pandan. Uh, oh, that smells pandan. great. Okay. Yeah, that smells yeah. really good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What's this one? Just empty? Uh, just uh, boiling water. Boiling right? water. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you 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 mix the peanut with the gelatinous yeah, rice, boiling uh, water. Yeah. And you serve First with. We boil the boss. Yes. Uh, serving the the palm sugar. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, that goes on the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you just dump it in? Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay cool. Just pouring the ginger. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. Very yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. It looks, uh, I've been reading uh, about these uh, online. Uh, quite famous dessert. Oh, yeah. Is yeah, this yeah, all over fun. Indonesia or just here in Bandung? Uh, Bandung traditional. Yeah, yeah. Bandung yeah. traditional? But, but the originally from uh, China. Uh, no kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. didn't know that. But uh, in Indonesia, just in Bandung. So okay. many in Bandung, yeah. Yeah, traditional here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. very good. Yeah, yeah. And these are all different? Uh, yeah. Uh, this is mixed from this one, this one, and this one. Oh, this is mixed? Yeah. So are these peanuts, peanuts, peanuts yeah, or no? but peanut inside. But this is uh, sweet cassava. Okay, sweet cassava. This sweet cassava yeah. mixed with tapioca. Tapioca, okay. I see, I see. Uh, that's uh, 
gluten extra. Oh, okay, flour. so there's different versions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, all yeah. right. Okay, okay uh, do a pulu for, for pulu the bowl. Okay. Okay. okay, so the same uh, typical thing. We've got a little uh, table medallion and they'll find that and then deliver our food. Now, do you need more water or are you kind of good? I'm good. You're good? Okay, all right. We'll just stick with that then. And this will probably uh, wrap up our evening of eating. I am pretty excited to try this. I've been. This is one of the dishes I've been uh, looking forward to when I found out we were going to come here this summer. Excellent. This is the ginger. All right, Tilo Kessie. Yeah, oh, here for us. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Okay, so a lot going on here. Yummy. Smells yummy. Smells yummy, yes. <laughs> this is palm sugar. Oh, wow. I did see a sign for this. Yes. Yes. And okay, they, they basically they wrap them in glutinous. This one, the orange one, is tapioca. Okay. The rest I believe are rice. The that green one's green tea. Ooh. I'll give this a try with some of the soup. Definitely a peanut buttery mm -hmm. cluster it's sweet. flavor. It's good. It's really good. Granny, you want to try one of these? If you're liking peanut butter, I think you'll like. Uh, I think you'll like this. The palm sugar like broth that it's in is pretty light in terms of. Uh, What's in this one? Uh, that I don't know. I think it's a right. That was a gelatinous rice. Yeah, that one with the peanut on the inside. It's haba not, not like so hot. That's like peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Oh, I really like that. It's a good dessert. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna add some ginger to it. It's like the um, like what, what, what's that stuff for like um? I forget what it's called. It's like it's like it's dumpling kind of, but there's like chewy on the outside and like creamy on the inside. Mochi. Um, mochi, yeah. Oh. Like a peanut, like a peanut butter mochi. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good, I would say, yeah. Yeah. I agree with that totally. Yeah, like a warm mochi. That's a warm peanut buttery mochi. He said this dessert originated out of China. Okay, let me see if I can find the name of it. Okay. Okay. I meanwhile I am going to add some of the ginger to it. Okay. Honestly, it almost has a gingery flavor already. Without adding any of the ginger sauce. Let's see. I can see it looks a bit settled. It's almost like settled in that cup. Uh, I'll probably have to give that a stir. All right, so we'll add in some of this ginger. Okay, it's changed colors now, that's for sure. Two balls left, but I want to try the palm sugar broth with the ginger. Ooh, definitely more ginger now. <laughs> I can smell it. All right, there's two left. I, I think, does, do you guys want the last two? No, you're out there, you? Cool. I'll eat one. Yeah, I'll have one too. I'll save you the green one. Okay, yum. So I'll go with the orange with, with some of the, the soup in the spoon. How is the ginger with it? Good. Mm. Yeah, the peanut balls are formed, so I, it's not just like, Chop peanuts in there. It's definitely, um, it might even be like a little candied peanut ball yeah. wrapped in the, the glutinous uh, mass there. Yeah, and then boiled or something. I think that's probably boiled. This is. It is boiled. This is good. 